guys. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to box blade a gravel driveway. This driveway here is a uh, limestone driveway. So it's got rocks, seashells, and uh, real fine uh, powdery, you know, limestone. Um, this stuff is really good for driveways. And the reason why it's really good, that real fine powdery limestone, it holds everything together. So the more you drive on it, the more it gets compact. Um, but eventually, like any gravel driveway, you're going to have to box blade it. So that's what I'm doing right now. I did just a little bit here. I'm going to show you the rest of the driveway and uh, how, it, how that's going to come out. All right. There's one more thing I wanted to add when you're box blading. Make sure you're in low gear and in first gear. Uh, I On this tractor, I keep the RPM around 600 RPM, maybe 7. Uh, so you want to go really, really slow because that will start breaking up the, uh, the rocks that are you know, hard and compacted into the ground, lift them up, and it will start building up into, the, uh, into the, the back of the box blade. Because when you're box blading, you want to start filling this up back here because that will start filling up all the holes and the high spots. The blade here on the box blade that'll start, you know, chiseling away at the high spots, and all the gravel you have in here will start filling up the low spots. But like I said, this stuff is really, really tough and hard. So I, to make one pass, I have to go about five times back and forth. So the first pass you make, um, it just kind of lifts up a few rocks here and there second pass a little more and by the fourth or fifth one you it really starts coming out nice so uh, yeah so let's do that. all right the first thing you want to do you want to get into position where you want to start and then drop your box blade and you should have your teeth on your box blade adjusted to have it stick out about a few inches Okay, now here, what you want, you want to start off in low gear and put it in first. And now on the RPM, you can see I have it set to about 700 RPM. See, it's not doing much. It's just kind of scraping along. You know, making a few lines. Starting our second pass. And again, get in your start position. And then drop your box plate all the way down to the float position. Honestly, if you just bring the box plate all the way down as far as it'll go on your lever, that's pretty much it. And then again, here we want low gear. And first, and each time you go over it, it comes out nicer. 
cover up some areas. Now I got a spot right over there that I got to take care of. It's a real low spot. It's soft too. So I'm going to fill that all up with rocks. See, the first pass, it just kind of scrapes up a little bit, and then the second pass does it even better. By the fourth or fifth pass, you're pretty much done. Now we're getting ready to do our third pass. Get into your position. Drop the uh, box plate. Put it in low gear. Now by the third pass you'll start seeing it pick up some more rocks. picking up more rocks. Now, as you can see, the box plate's filling up with all the loose rocks that I just loosened up. And that will start filling up all the low spots. I think you're going to get it all at the first pass or second pass. This is already my fourth pass. I may do a fifth. Uh, it all depends how bad the driveway is. You can see how smooth it's coming out now. It looks like freshly laid gravel. Because it actually it is. All right, I just got done with this pass here. Uh, this was four passes. I could do it again, make it five, but it, it's pretty good uh, the way it is. It all depends how, you know, if you got potholes in it or whatever. Um, so yeah, they come out pretty nice. This is the stuff that I haven't done yet. It's nice and packed. And this here, once you start driving on it, it'll get nice and packed. All right, I got this one trouble spot in my driveway. It, uh, I guess when I was <clears throat> putting the uh, gravel down, when I had the gravel put down, the ground here was actually higher. 
So in this spot here, I really don't have any gravel. Um, in fact, it's just dirt under here. Yeah, it's just dirt. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of dig out this area a little bit. And then when I box blade, it'll uh, fill up with gravel. All right, what I did here, I just took off a few inches and made it a low spot. So now when I get the box blade and go over it, it'll fill all this in. And I, won't, I shouldn't have this problem anymore because this limestone, once this stuff gets packed down, you know, after a good rain and been driving on it for a while, uh, I mean, this stuff turns hard. So I shouldn't have this problem anymore. All right, now we're going to go over it with our first pass, which isn't going to do much of anything. second pass This will be our final pass for this row here. So I'm going to get up into position. Put it in low gear. We're going to drop the box plate again. As you can see, on the fourth pass, it's starting to fill up with gravel, and that's good. Now, by the time we get to that low spot where I dug out, uh, it'll be filled in for sure. You won't even be able to tell. Thank you. 
the hole is right there. So this, this is where the hole was. So now we're going to cover that up. Well guys, I'm pretty much done with this part here. I'm going to finish up that little piece there later. Uh, this is what the box blade should look like on your last pass. Full of gravel. That way if you have a low spot, it'll fill it in. And at the same time, if you have a high spot, it'll shave it off. Um, so yeah. Got it all done. It looks like the day it was uh, spread out here in the when I first put it on so anyways that hole got filled up that yeah, was right there so that got filled up nice so I'm just gonna finish up this piece here and then later I'll finish up the rest of the driveway and uh, yeah come on nice I'm happy like I said, it's going to take, it depends on what type of gravel you have. If you have just loose gravel, you could probably do it in uh, two passes. Uh, but if you have this limestone, where it's got that fine powdery limestone mixed in with the bigger gravel, um, it'll, it's pretty hard, and it's going to take at least four passes. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much.